Hi everybody, uh, we want to do a quick video just to walk you through what it's going to look like if you're booked in to come here to the New Life Centre on Sunday and any relevant Sundays following to worship with us physically. So we want to make sure you're aware of all the things that you need to do and that you feel safe and secure and that we've got everything covered. So I'm going to walk you through, so follow me in as you would do. You'd be queuing up here, you'd be socially distanced, there'll be markers on the floor and as you go in a steward will be here on the door to welcome you. And as they welcome you, they're going to ask you a couple of questions. First of all, have you had any COVID symptoms? Secondly, we need to make sure you're on the list that you're allowed into the service. And thirdly, they're going to want to make sure that you've got your mask and that you're wearing it. I'm not going to wear it now because you won't hear me speak. But please bring your own mask. We do have some here if you do forget them, but we would prefer you to bring your own. The other thing that they're going to do is they're going to use this device to check your temperature and just to record that to ensure that you don't have a temperature as you enter the building. Alongside that, on the door here, there'll be the NHS app uh, QR code which you can scan into your app just to show that you've been here as a location. So if you've got that app, you can do that as you come in. The stewards then will, will take you in one household at a time in one bubble. We can't have loads of people coming in all at once, so please just bear with us as the stewards bring you in uh, a bubble household at a time. Now you'll make your way through this door and as you arrive here you'll be taken straight to the hand sanitizing bay where there is alcohol gel which you need to put onto your hands, do the usual thing, make sure you're fully covered there and if you do need a mask there are some there but as I said we would prefer you to bring your own if possible. After you've all sanitized your hands from that household or if you're on your own just yourself the steward will continue to take you through into the hall to your allocated seat. This is really important that you go to the seat that you're allocated to because we've set out the room knowing who's coming, who's not coming and uh, measured the two metre social distancing. So you'll be taken to your seat. When you're at your seat, please stay in your seat until the service is finished unless of course you desperately need the toilet or there's an emergency but we don't want lots of people walking around and getting up and uh, going to different places within the room. So you stay here while the service is going on. You're allowed to stand up, you're allowed to raise your hands, you're allowed to you know, get energetic, you can start moving your body if you need to warm up, but what you can't do unfortunately at the moment is uh, sing aloud while we're here in the worship time or pray out loud. So just bear that in mind. The other thing is, we are going to have the heating on, but we do have to have the windows on the nick just to allow ventilation. So I'd advise just to bring an extra layer of a jumper just to make sure you're warm, but we'll try and get the heating on very early so that you will be as warm as possible. As you can see, the worship team will be at the front and the preacher will be just here. And we have these protective screens just to add an extra layer of protection, even though there is actually more than enough social distance between the people at the front and yourself. We've got technicians at the back who are also covered uh, with a screen. They'll also be wearing masks. So they'll be operating all our equipment because we're going to continue live streaming even though we're running the, uh, the service physically as well. So you can enjoy the service. You've sat down at the end. The host has said to you now, the service is finished. What you need to do is wait until a steward comes to say that you can leave the building. We're doing that household at a time. So they come to say you can go, you get up off your seat, you've still got to be wearing your mask at this point. You make your way over to the back door and here at the back door, the stewards would have had this door open for you to exit the building and we ask that you keep your mask on until you're fully outside and the only other thing that we ask is that you don't mingle in the car park and um, have a time of fellowship because A, of congestion, but also we don't want lots of people gathering in, a, in a, a place that could cause us complications. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps you to feel safe if you're coming and if you're not booked in to come and you're thinking about it, that it will just give you a bit of an idea of all the things that we've put in place to make this place as safe and secure as possible, but also a place where we can enjoy worshiping God together. We're really looking forward to being together. We hope you are too. If you're joining us on the live stream, none of that will change. Everything will be as normal, half past 10 on Sunday. And uh, we look forward to welcoming you here. May God bless you. We may see you Sunday. If not, we'll see you on the live stream. God bless.